Let, let, before we get to the banks per se, let's talk about the broader market. What do you think is happening in the market, broadly speaking, right now? So I think we've seen a shift from price to revenue to price to earnings. <clears throat> and I think what's going on is that it's been a very productive shift towards cash flow and how much money banks can make versus other sectors. Um, some of that may be given back in individual stocks today with technology rallying, but I think it's going to be dictated by the 10-year Treasury, which is traded very well, still very strong, wants to push towards 2%. And if it does, there's a very high correlation with the financials and the, and the 10 years. So I think we're still in a very good position here. And as the Fed tightens later this year, I think it's very bullish for the revenues and particularly for estimates in 2023. So if I'm, if I'm understanding you correctly, this, this transition from a focus on revenues to a focus on real earnings, real profits, would, favor, would, would be unfavorable to high earning, high profit, high revenue growth technology companies and would be favorable to the companies that have real profits like banks. That's correct. And I think we've gone from this phase of zero interest rates and that's really favored technology companies and right. high growth stories. And now we transition to banks and the bank spread is going to be materially better as this year and particularly next year come into focus. So if the if the conditions are going to be better and you say that as you look at 22 and you look at 23 for banks, you haven't seen it this favorably inclined. You haven't seen this favorably inclined in years. Why are they suffering today? And is that, I assume, then, just a temporary blip on your radar screen? Correct, Tom. We've seen a great start, as good as I've seen in the last two weeks. So it's been a great rally to begin 22. I think you have profit-taking today ahead of the uh, whole uh, spate of earnings coming out Tuesday through Friday of next week, plus the rest of the month. So I think a lot of this just is a, a somewhat of a profit-taking maneuver. I think the big picture is very much intact. And I think as more management speak about their prospects for this year, and particularly for higher interest rates and the deployment of cash, because remember, cash is so large given the pandemic and the impact on deposits, that's a one-two punch for the banks that I think is only partially felt in the stocks. So what are they going to do with all that cash? Very interestingly, you point out that the, that the level of cash that they're carrying on their balance sheets are way up uh, cash, 19 percent from 8 percent at the largest banks. Uh, what are they going to do with that cash? They're going to buy back shares, do uh, M&A, what? For the most part, it will be putting money to work through new loans. We think commercial mm. loan demand has picked up in the last quarter of 2021, right. will get particularly stronger this year. I think some securities purchases may happen because the yield curve has picked up and, and the nominal interest rate is better. You know, as the Fed uh, tightens rates this year and next, it's going to pull the whole curve up. So the opportunity set for banks to invest in securities is a little bit better. I still think the majority of what they're going to do is new loans. I think it will take time, but it's there. 